Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ross here, and we're gonna get back to this war, episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one and episode two, and yeah, we're gonna continue this war on Japan and see if we can uh, get them off our fucking land. Um, so yeah, this the southern area is not doing too bad. Our brothers in blue are helping out. Um, they're at least securing this area, which is very good, and actually, noticing there is a shortfall here so we're going to move troops in here um oh they just in the nick of time moved in uh so we're but we're going to start closing this uh this hole uh so we got that one fighting there we'll have that guy and then we'll have that guy uh nope okay actually we're going to have this guy stop and uh, have him join and that's more important to try to close at least ones that have a chance to close so We'll join in there as well. Um, we got lots of units moving in there, so that's pretty good. Hopefully we'll be able to close in there and yeah. Looking forward and to the north, um, this seven unit man army, we're gonna actually uh, hire right now um, a commander. Um, we're gonna take him in there. He's gonna hopefully get experience as they keep on putting troops there. So yeah, I don't even know what I just hit. I hit something though. I, th I don't. Th did we get more land? I don't know. Did we get more land? Shit. Product. No. Construction. Construction. No, we didn't get more. Nope, we didn't get more land. So we did get this area, but we're not going to build anything in, in there right now, because uh, I don't want to spend um, industrial capacity to keep on repairing shit if we have to. Um, yeah, we want to keep down our expenditures as best as possible. Uh, we have we have multiple units freaking in reserve in moving backwards. Uh, we're gonna send that guy there. Uh, we're gonna send these guys into here. Hopefully, uh, press forward our front lines, and hopefully nothing arises out of the blue. Um, okay, that's not going too well. Um, but this is going to get us suddenly better for us. 80, yeah, there we go, 84. 84 is amazing. Uh, it is rising. We're going to hopefully cut off their supply, and then we'll win the southern flank. Once we secure the southern flank, we're going to create another army, and so we just leave, uh, like, three units at these ports. Um, because these ports are not being defended, and we need to make sure that we have them constantly um, defended. It says n units not assigned. Battle plans with no units assigned. But there is a battle plan. I don't know. Whatever. We'll worry about that later. So. Hey, infantry equipment is good. We have a national focus now. Uh, let's see. Daily communes and support. Foreign submer uh, subversion activities. Efficiency. Political power. Equipment. Okay, we're gonna go equip number two. We're gonna go look at this. 1939 technology by 50% right now. Uh, we're already in November though. Uh, this would take 105 days. 105 days for the next. Hmm. Let's see, do we have? Okay, so we could get artillery. Let's just do it. Hopefully, they might give us some kind of, um, how do you say, benefit over this uh, war. Uh, we're going to uh, run on fast time. We're going to keep these guys here. Uh, they're going to be chilling out literally just right here because we keep on getting invaded there. And hopefully, we'll have enough time to react if there's battle plans to go over there. And this is just going absolutely beautifully now. Um, we're closing in here, and th look, this is another 6-2, so that's 8, 10 different units that they are going to lose. Um, we have up 630,000 casualties on the enemy, um, and I don't know about Japan's manpower, but I can't imagine it's that much, because, I mean, I might be assuming. What's this? That's 14.9 mil. Okay, that is fucking a lot. That's 4 million... 14.3 I don't know I really don't know I just I feel like they're gonna have issues with manpower but 
I could be entirely wrong, but if we keep on freaking killing people like this uh, and destroying units like this, this is actually even better than um, just fending off naval invasions because we're actually effectively taking these guys out of the war. And yeah, they're, so they're not getting experience benefits. I mean, this is it's massive on a on a in, on a pretty large magnitude. Um, we're actually going to see if we can we're gonna we have some units here in reserve. Uh, we're going to try to push them forward. Maybe we can enclose them off. I don't know what all those noises are for. Is it for the very low supplies? Oh my gosh. Look at this freaking hole we made. We are on the freaking rise, guys. Oh dear God. Um, let's see. What do we got going on here? 95%? Uh, oh, shit, son. I'm going to stop that unit. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. We can see that we started losing the initiative as soon as they got that port. Um, stop. Attack from there. You got to make sure that they do not get ports. That seven units is holding out strong. We'll keep on throwing bodies is the best we can do. Uh, we're winning on both sides now. Awesome. And now we move forward. Let's move this unit. I'm gonna move this unit around. We're gonna win that. That's ours. That's massive. Absolutely massive. We are gaining some serious freaking territory right now. We're gonna win this. I, we're gonna win this. We need to start thinking uh, long term to strategy now. We need a naval invasion. Uh, we need it to be able to take Taiwan out, and we also need to take out uh, Okinawa. Um, these are very much off our border and they only have to cross one sea lane, which is very easy to control. We are not going to be able to compete with their, uh, force. Oh, uh, that's one thing that we have to take into effect that we are not going to be able to have that kind of effect on them. Um, they have a very large Navy. The only thing that we can kind of count on is they have a large Navy and, it's out of range. Uh, that's what we need to count on. The other thing is, do we? Okay, we're gonna say convoys. We it says we don't have any naval dockyards, but I don't know. Oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need naval dockyard. Uh, naval dockyard. I'm surprised there's not one here. But we're going to add one. That's for sure. Okay, so we got the naval dockyard. We have a shit ton of unlocked slots there to use as well. We might start building in there uh, as we push this battle line forward. I'm, I'm very excited about this. If we can also get this before Russia gets involved, that's going to be massive too. Uh, we're, uh, hey, we're at 50% each. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Let's uh, get our units to crush this. That's eight units. All three, one, and 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 done. Large front operations. Let's actually take uh, these seven units. We're gonna split off and make another army. We are gonna hire another guy, a new commander. Ten points, yes please. We are going to s move them here. We're gonna split off half, and we're gonna send them there. So they're just gonna stay here. It's just it is seven units. Actually, you're gonna take one of them. I'm gonna assign one of them back. I think three and three for right now is good. Uh, but we're gonna sign them. Hey, we got new units trained. That's awesome. You assign them to this battle plan over here. Okay, so we got three in defense on both these ports. They only have one, but we are going to just have a little bit more. So yeah. Okay, we got equipment. Let's get a um, naval dockyards going. Uh, we're gonna go down that line. Okay, we're having an issue with China now. Uh, so China is having an issue with giving us metal. So we'll have to see what that's all about. Okay, sorry, I had an important phone call there. Uh, I accidentally kept on playing um, <laughs> because, yeah, addicted to playing. So we had a naval invasion here. Um, we actually had two. We had one here. I had to move the troops to defend it. And now we're trying to defend this. Now we have 
again, troops moving down. Again, this is uh, kind of beneficial because we are now taking away industrial capacity. They produce these. We are going to win this. Uh, we just need to make sure that they don't grab hold of another port, and they're only limited to that one. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make an army, um, like a singular army. We're going to station three on every single port here, because uh, it seems that these assholes of our Chinese brothers are not doing their part. And yeah, so hopefully we keep that. Now, there, there's another issue that is going to happen more than likely is once uh, France and the United Kingdom join in, the J Japanese are going to evade from here. And again, we'll have a two front war, but hopefully the British Raj when France uh, will be able to actually help. Now, this is uh, another problem too, is they're fascist. They'll eventually join the Nazis. And yeah, actually, let's go look over there. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, so not too much. Not too much. So, okay. Okay, so we do have supply issue, insufficient resources. Okay, uh, let's, let's get more. Okay, so that's soft. That's good. Okay, let's uh, cut, cut off. We're gonna move the, these troops in here. We're gonna cut them off from supply, any kind of supply. We're gonna move troops in there. Um, uh, we're gonna move him in there too. We're gonna actually keep him here. We're gonna move forward. Try to block this guy. Okay, he's blocked. Okay, stop him. Move in there. Okay, attack, attack, attack. Winning, winning. Uh, let's squeeze in here. Move him around here. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted, but hey, okay. How are we doing up here? Oh, look at this. We're getting a pocket here. Let's try to attack this pocket. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna, hopefully we can encircle, uh, I mean, even if it's just three, that's it's still three, then more than we had. Do not like how they're awarding all of them. I mean, look at this, we're cut off from them, but yet they're still getting awarded with territory. Uh, we did, oh, we did gain territory down here though. Okay, fine. That's just through communist support kind of thing. Uh, okay, interesting. Okay, nope, nope, okay. Stop, stop your orders. Attack. Nope. Stop your order. Attack. Change that. We need to keep... I don't want them to even be at 90%. I want this to be at 90%. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. We got... We encircled two. Two is better than none. It's still two divisions less. Two encircled. Okay, we're losing though. this, though. That's not good. Um... Come on, come on. Yeah, okay. We, we ran out of supply. That's another three units gone. Uh, how are shores doing? Shores are doing good. Shores are doing good. Okay. Like I said, we're going to try to split off and get three in each area. Okay, we just took out one and we took out there. So that's good. Uh, we're actually going to just take this guy and assign him into there. Uh, one massive army here. Uh, assign that. Those guys will stay there. And boom. Okay, so we're gonna move everyone here for right now. So, okay, so let's, um, okay, we're gonna select three that, go this, that goes there. And then, oh gosh. Okay, one. Okay, so one, two, three, three. Okay, so then they go there. What do we got? What we got left? Okay, naval effort. I did that. Um, hmm. Okay, we're not going to be worried about that. Oh, we are going to go for extra research slot. Yeah. Okay, uh, insufficient supplies. Oh, with what? Oil? Fuck. Okay to Soviet Union that we go. So the Communist Brothers hopefully help us out. And yeah, we are being, oh gosh, very much successful up here. Um, so this is like the the least of our worries is this Northern Frontier. I mean, that's another two that we are taking out of the battle. Um, yeah, I mean, 33, 40, 12. Yeah, I mean, we, substantially outnumber them in just pure units. 
Okay, so we have this. We are oh, okay. We're in 1939. Let's uh, get our industry going. Okay. Okay, so we got three, three, and three. Okay, he has one down there, but at least we can react to that if we need to. Uh, okay, they have. Well, they got 41 bombers overhead. Uh, we're gonna start trying to produce ships. Um, hopefully, we do what we need to do is produce ships and then try to um, take away their ports here. So it's harder for them to get to where, well, we are. So, yeah. Episode three is going really well, just FYI. I'm very happy with the progress. I, I, when we started the series, I was very worried about it because honestly, I was like, we're going to have issues. And I was like, oh, they actually gave us this land. That's interesting. They gave us control of it. Yeah, why? Well, why? Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Very happy. Just trying to clean that mouse there. Okay, let's uh, move forward here. Move this time. Oh, okay, that's the sound. Naval invasion. Okay, so we only get a warning of it when it's actually happening. So... You need to get down there. We're going to assign you to there. Oh, God. This sucks. God. See, this is why we need these. Oh, my dear God. Come on. And we can't be idiots and take away from the other ports. Because that, that's just knee-jerk reactions. That's just knee-jerk reactions. But we are going to knee-jerk there. And just get them over. Get them over. Get in there. Come on. Oh, there we go. Supply gone now. Circle this. Their organization was low, too, so it seems that we took a couple out with just organization issues. I did knee-jerk reaction myself there, but it's better to knee-jerk yourself, uh, to be quite honest. So that's some more units that just absolutely got wrecked. So... Um, we'll assign these units, actually, just... Um, we'll assign them over there. And we'll take one and we'll assign them into this force and then into this battle line. So we just need to take this guy out now. And so we really need to... South Ch Why do I care about... Okay, over here? Oh, I don't care about their... Why, seriously, why do they have so many units over here? They could be helping so much on this northern front right now. Or actually, you know, securing the freaking coastline instead of me doing it. Their coastline, FYI, as well. And are they moving a troop out of there? Assholes. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so they're having issues with giving us shit, so we're actually going to just cancel our entire contract with them and then take it all from Soviet Union. Um, we got technology going. Let's uh, get our competing machine going. Yep, yep, that's good. Hmm... Let's see. Industrial research time. Yep, we'll take that one. And I know that we rushed that, so that kind of... It set us back a little bit. With definitely supplies. But we're down to 28,000. It's... Oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> we got that technology and I never fielded it. Uh... Okay, so that's that sound. Is that freaking... And look at that. Seven units... Okay, they're down to six, though. And five. Let's, let's move up. Oh, fuck. Knee-jerk reaction, come on. Knee-jerk knee reaction, come on. Get over there. Okay, winning. Win. Nope. Come on. Win. Moving in. Okay, we're in the positive. In the positive. Let's see our northern front. Northern front is doing awesome. We need them to do take that. And we need them to take it, like... Now, let's get him out of there. Let's support them. Okay, they're down both going negative though. 
Can we throw these guys in? Okay, there we go. That's positive movement. Let's get some positive movement on this one. France is pursuing nuclear technology. That's okay with us. We don't give two shits. Okay, so... <laughs> let's, um... Select... Oh. Oh, gosh. Another one. Seriously? Okay, split them in half. Send it over here. Because they're moving there. Oh, okay, well, well they're just going to have to stay there. Because, obviously, they keep on trying to come from somewhere. And, seems they're kind of hell-bent on that. That's fine. They want to be hell-bent. They can be hell-bent. What are these 17 units doing? Okay, they're moving forward. It's just a lot of units. Oh, God. Seriously, not the freaking port. Get them. Get them. Crush. Dead. Oh, no national focus. Um... Okay, let's go for equipment for number three, and then we'll start going down political power. Oh, dear God, we got a lot of... Okay, we're going to go down deep operations. We are going to go for... Ah, uh, shit, son. Hmm. Okay, we got Destroyer uh, Mark 1. Uh, actually, let's go Industry 1939. Yeah, Industry 1939. Get that. We have to increase this. We are getting 88 steel requested and delivered. Good to go. We are defending our shore repetitively. Uh, we just we really need to get rid of this because uh, they keep on coming, and we got to make sure that they don't keep on coming. So yeah, just gotta push, 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 push. 99%. River crossing is going to be a little difficult, so let's uh, take our troops and push automatically through. Uh, this is the initiative kind of aspect, is, so we already pushed them back, so we know that organization is going to be low. So we're going to push and get across the river as fast as possible so they can't reinforce it. And you see that? That's what happens. Is they just reinforce that, and now we're, we're not going to get that river crossing. That's what we were trying to uh, attain, is get that uh, push that river crossing fast. We're going to stop that order now. No use in throwing bodies into something that can't happen. Oh, but now we have friendlies, so now we'll push again. And river. Okay, so river is now secured, so we are going to select seven of them to push there. We're going to take these six, push behind the river. Behind the river. Oh, okay, hold on. Behind the river, and there we go. So we're going to try to, we're going to see if we can encompass uh, uh, all these guys. Um, I'm going to throw him into there. We don't want to necessarily push them, but you see what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to push in. Um, we'll stop him from advancing in. We don't want him to cut us off. We want to cut them off. Okay, they did see what we're trying to do. They stop and try to stop us at Moodkin. Okay, we have refills coming in. We're gonna try to cut off all these units. Again, try. Okay, pushing on. We're just gonna we're gonna make it a little bit smaller cut. Uh, we're not gonna we're trying not to get too greedy. We're gonna cut into here. Cut. Nice. Okay, backwards attack into this sector. Okay. Take all units, attack in there. Oh, this is it's turning out beautiful. We're gonna encompass, uh, we're encircling four more units. So that's another four units off their front. Battle plan's going good. Uh, let's see, any problems? Okay, no problems. Any problems? Okay, no problems. <laughs> 1939, and we are freaking pushing Japan almost back into Korea. Um, if we can get them into the peninsula of Korea, um, that would be awesome. If we can do it by 1940, holy crap. Um, that would be amazing. And then all we have to, I mean, worry about, oh, holy crap. For the first time, we have free military factories 
And what we're gonna do is just make more infantry equipment. <laughs> Cause yeah, 30,000, we just, that's all we have to do is keep on going down that line. Um, yeah, we'll get factory repair speed. Yeah, we'll get it. Uh, how's our, uh, so we're boosting still. We're at 31%. Okay, going a little bit slower than previous, but okay. Um, it would be good if we actually got one of these southern areas. This resource is down here. Um, but I would take this right here as well. 20 metal. Uh, and even the two oil I would take. Eh, we're not too worried. Uh, we're, we're getting pretty damn powerful right now. Um, when it comes down to this, we're going to be able to take these out. Are these guys... Okay, they're not aligned with anyone yet. Which is pretty damn awesome. I also like right now is that no one is in this damn war. If we can win this freaking war... And this is bullshit that this war is status quo right now. What the fuck? Status quo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. You're getting pushed back like freaking children. Too easy. Actually, let's stop this. This is more important. We need to secure this. German right claims something. Come on. 104 width against freaking 12. Come on. There we go. How much we got? We did get four. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, slam everyone in. And yeah. Okay, so they have seven units down here. Uh, that's probably actually the seven units keep on trying to invade, <laughs> to be quite honest. We're gonna let the AI redistribute our troops after this encirclement. And yeah, we need to try to obviously capture that. The next port we need to capture. Next offensive target is there. So once one's done, we'll do the next. So yeah, going damn good, damn well, damn well. What's our focus? <laughs> focus is going to be good political effort now. I'm going to get down that political effort and get the next research slot, to be honest. That's what we want. That was an awesome push right there. Quite awesome push. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Look at all the greens now. Look at how fast we're pushing. They can't hold it. They can't. We're winning the war against freaking Imperial Japan. And that's freaking amazing. And that's where we're going to end episode three. I hope you guys like it. I hope you like the first two episodes. Uh, I'm excited. We're going to make China strong again. We're going to reunite all the republics. And we're going to start going on offensives. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to try to go after uh, Moscow. We're going to have to go after uh, Sinkang first. Sinkang. Um... I might try to make smaller wars, Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, oil. Um, this is more of a, just a pass through to get troops through. Um, I mean, I can get the smaller states, Tibet, uh, Nepal, uh, Bhutan. Um, yeah, not too worried about that. Not going to attack freaking Philippines because I ain't pulling freaking America into anything right now. That's for damn sure. Oh, we are getting attacked. Look at that. And that's why you position this shit because I keep on trying to get it. We need to work on freaking naval invasions. They're naval invading us uh, throughout Nagasaki. I guarantee that's through Nagasaki, and I guarantee that is through freaking, yeah, Gao Khan. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, pronouncing it wrong. Um, so they keep on trying to open fronts. We're not letting them open fronts. We're going to freaking end this war. We need to get naval invasions going, though, and we also need to beef up some of our navy so we can actually, or make a navy is more of a more accurate term. Um, let's actually get one to destroyers. Um, are we do we're gonna need convoys regardless to freaking get them across. And I just, well, it doesn't matter because there's no, yeah, no production lines for that. So we don't have to worry about efficiency. So yeah, that's it. So if you guys like this episode, please hit that thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Greatly helps me out. And yeah, leave those comments below. Tell me what you think and, uh, what should we do next? As always, I'm the Flying Ross and I'll check you guys next time.